Children on Medicaid needing care outside their home states often experience delays because some state Medicaid programs require out-of-state providers to be screened and enrolled into their program, even if the provider is already enrolled and in good standing with their home state Medicaid program or Medicare. As an example, Dr. Polly Ferguson, our Division Director of Rheumatology, is the world's expert for a rare and possibly fatal inflammatory bone condition called chronic recurrent multifocal osteomyelitis, or CRMO. Children with this disease can have bone inflammation that is painful, deforming, and they can even die from this disease. Most doctors never even see a single case of this rare disease, but if they do, because it's so rare, they might miss the diagnosis. But Dr. Ferguson's work has helped uncover life-saving treatment for this rare disease. Because of her expertise, patients come to see Dr. Ferguson from all over the state of Iowa, all 50 states, and even internationally. But if the child with this condition is insured by an out-of-state Medicaid program, evaluation and treatment by Dr. Ferguson could, depending on the state, require multiple levels of administrative approval, could be denied administratively, and could be delayed because of other administrative burdens. These delays of weeks to months could potentially cause irrevocable harm to the child's health and future. Sadly, we know of children with this rare disease who have already suffered the consequences of this administrative red tape when they could have been helped very quickly by Dr. Ferguson. I have given you an example where a child with a rare disease and complex medical needs from outside of Iowa could be helped by the bill under discussion, but of course, the reciprocal is also true. There will be cases where children on Iowa Medicaid with rare diseases and complex medical needs might be greatly helped by receiving their care in an expedited fashion in another state. This bill is good for Iowa's children and good for children across the country. I urge this committee to act now and pass H.R. 4758, Accelerating Kids' Access to Care 